Many of you will have seen viral videos from about a year ago of colourblind people trying on special glasses, experiencing vivid colour for the first time, and their overwhelmed reaction at their new perception of the world. So how do these glasses work? And more importantly, do they really work? There are different types of colour blindness, and these glasses are not designed to help with all types. The majority of humans have three different colour receptor cells, called cones, at the back of the eye. The three different cones respond to short, medium and long wavelengths of light, generally corresponding to blue, green and red. The cone cells send signals informing our brain of the ratio of these three different colours, and our brain processes these signals into the millions of different hues that most humans are able to perceive. The glasses work by changing the ratio of red, green and blue light reaching the retina. One type of colour blindness, called dichromacy, is where the person with this condition is missing a certain cone in their eye, and so they are not able to perceive information about that colour. The glasses don't help in this regard, but this is one of the rarer forms of colour blindness. Also, total colour blindness, where people see only in shades of grey, can't be helped by these glasses. The most common form of colour blindness is called anomalous trichromacy, also known as red-green colour blindness, and this is the condition that the glasses are best able to help. In people with red-green colour blindness, the range of wavelengths that their red and green cones respond to overlap more than they should in a person with normal colour vision, meaning colours that mostly excite one colour receptor in a person with normal vision excite two colour receptors in a person with red-green colour blindness. Red-green colour blindness falls into two main types, depending on whether it is the red cones that are responding more to green light or the green cones responding more to red light. The severity of the condition depends on the amount of overlap and varies from person to person. The colour blindness glasses work by blocking certain colours of light in the regions where the cones' responses overlap, removing some wavelengths of light that trigger more than one cone at once. This figure from a recent paper that measured the effectiveness of enchroma colour blindness glasses shows that the enchroma lenses, represented by the black line, block light at wavelengths where there is typically an excessive overlap in people with red-green colour blindness. The blue, green and red cone responses shown in the figure represent normal eyesight. So colour blindness glasses, like in chroma, work by blocking light at confusing wavelengths, increasing the contrast between different colours, and allowing colour blind people to tell the difference between different colours. Judging by the viral reaction videos, it looks like these glasses work brilliantly. But this seems to be a case of don't believe everything you see on the internet. Last week, researchers from the University of Granada published a paper detailing their assessment of the effectiveness of enchroma glasses in curing colour blindness and improving colour perception. They took 48 volunteers with varying degrees of colour blindness and subjected them to various tests. The basic tests included common colour blindness tests such as simply recognising and naming different colours, distinguishing whether or not two colours were the same or different, and a hue arrangement test. In all of these tests, the glasses produce no or very mild improvement, and while some of the volunteers were able to better distinguish colours they hadn't been able to see before, in the same way that wearing tinted glasses prevents a normal sighted person from seeing certain colours, the enchroma glasses prevented the volunteers from seeing certain colours they could before. This meant that their overall ability to distinguish colours didn't improve with the glasses on. The researchers also measured the spectrum of light that the glasses absorb in order to simulate what effect these glasses would have for people with different types and severities of colour blindness. These two images show what this scene looks like to someone with moderate red-green colour blindness with and without the glasses. The simulations show that because the type and degree of colour blindness varies so much from person to person, creating a one-size-fits-all solution, which is essentially what the glasses are, is very difficult to do. The volunteers were also just asked to comment subjectively on whether they thought the enchroma glasses improved their perception of their surroundings. Only one of the 48 volunteers noted a small improvement. 
The researchers also refer to previous smaller studies of Enchroma glasses that produce similar results. In all, these studies assessed the effectiveness of the glasses for about 200 individuals and found only a very mild improvement in colour perception in a few cases. This research shows that Enchroma glasses and others like them don't improve the vision of colourblind people and certainly don't produce a normal perception of colour. So with multiple scientific studies seeming to condemn the glasses as generally ineffective, why did we see so many videos of such incredible reactions? Assuming that these reactions are genuine, there's a selection bias effect going on here. These might be the small number of people for whom the glasses make a significant difference. A video of someone trying on the glasses and saying, eh, they're alright, isn't going to go viral. 